Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be a vanity slash makeup collection tour. Yes, um, I'm not going to go through every single thing because, bitch, I'd be here for like eight hours. But I'm going to go through as much as I can and um, show you guys everything that's right here. This is like my little vanity slash makeup slash um, video corner. I have my two lights right here. And my tripod right here. This is where I film my videos for my makeup channel and my book channel. Um, I have these two lights right here. They usually have like these giant um, umbrellas, but they're too big to put right here. So what I did was I like I did like a makeshift like soft box with tissue paper, and the light bulbs that I use are the kind that don't get too hot, so the paper is fine. I've been using these for like three months now and then everything's been good. But yeah, so I'm a crafty bitch. So this is where I film my shit. And right here, this table I got from Amazon.com. It was $20. And if I can find the link for it, I'll post it. Um, and anything else I got on Amazon, I will post it in the description. But I got this table from Amazon, it was $20. And the mirror right here I got at Ross and it was $12.99. And yeah, so let's go ahead and jump right into this because I'm excited to show you guys everything. Okay, so we're going to start off right here on this corner of the table. We have my fan. Yes, so when I put on my setting spray or when I'm just hot, um, I use my fan right here. This used to be a, a gay pride fan. It was from Pride. It was a Metro PCS phone company fan but I went ahead and most recently I think this I, did, I did this like a couple of weeks ago I um, put a bunch of horror pictures on here I made a collage on here so that it would you know fit me more because I'm a horror movie freak if you guys don't know um, but yeah so I put like little pictures everywhere I got these from magazines and then I just put tape all over it and I just like it looks really cool fits my personality more and yeah so this is my fan I don't like those ones that flip out I, I don't know no I, I like this one this is good enough for me and we're gonna start out right here with the makeup we have these little I wouldn't I think these are just plastic these are not acrylic right because these are from Dollar Tree I have this one and I have one over here that holds my lipsticks that's from Dollar Tree and then I have some that are in my drawers that are from Dollar Tree, these little plastic ones. And you can probably see right here I have double-sided tape holding these down. And this is some really good tape I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I've had these here for, I think, like five months, I think, five or six months. And they have not moved at all. So that's some good-ass tape. So, and right here I have my foundations and concealers. I have my two Wet n Wild foundations. I have Soft Beige. And then I have um, Buff Bisque, which is the one I've been using lately because I feel like Soft Beige is a little too warm for me. And this one's more neutral. And then we have my e.l.f. Camo Concealer right here. This is in Light Peach. And then I have two... Um, what are these called? No filter, right? No filter concealers from ColourPop. And this one is in Fair 02, and the other one is 04. And I have one for my eyes, which is 02, and then one for my face, which is 04. And, um, I got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty. And then I have my, right here is my powder. This is the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Translucent Powder. And this is such a good powder. Let me tell you guys. It is so good, it's blurring, it is so pretty, and it's only $5.99, $6, so, yeah. And a lot of people don't even know that they have powder out now. Yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on with Wild Wild. They need to get their marketing in check. Um, we have the mirror right here, which I'm going to move so we can get into the rest of this. Okay, alright, now we have my bronzer and highlighters right here. We have the e.l.f. Um, Moonlight Pearls highlighter. I love this highlighter. This is one of my favorites. This is only like $4. And then we have one. This is the most expensive highlighter I own. This is the Ofra Mini Highlighter and Pillow Talk. 
which is a like a really pretty pink yeah there it is it's pink it's really pretty it's really blinding and one that is really similar that does not these are I think these are like $22 the mini ones and the regular ones are 30 um, but I got this in a ho um, holiday set and it was only $12 so I got that one and then the other highlighter I have which is my favorite one that is actually really similar to pillow talk is a blossom glow from wet n wild this is like my favorite highlighter I love this one so much pretty much use this one all the time and then this is the butter bronzer from physicians formula this is the regular bronzer all right and then we have my face brushes which is in this canister that I got from Ross I think Ross did I still have the thing under here yeah Ross $2.99 so I have my face brushes in here I have these ones that look like this are the BH Cosmetics it's my Ray Ray brushes so I have quite a few of those I think I have more of those than any other ones in here um, these are the pro line wet n wild brushes these are the regular wet n wild brushes that you can get at like Walgreens or Dollar Tree and then another pro line the wet n wild one and then I have a wet n wild one that's a highlighter brush so those are my face brushes right here I have two of the same right here because I find that I like these for blush and bronzer these big ones they work out really well and I really like them okay and then we have my sponges in this little lowercase r dish and I have the real techniques one I have the wet and wild one which is it's not it's it, it I don't know I, I need more time with it it's okay and then I have this um, knockoff Juno and Co sponge that um, having a little bit of issues with but I don't know we'll get into that some other time maybe in a video I will talk about it but yeah so I have that there and then I have my palettes right here I just burped <laughs> I have my palettes right here but I just want to get these out of the way since we're already here with the face stuff I have my um, makeup brushes for my eye brushes this is in this little trio canister that my best friend got me for Christmas and this is a little bat right here I actually have another bat over here if you guys can't see it yeah I like my spooky shit um, but I have my eye brushes right here let me go ahead and see if I can focus on them. there we go all right so we have some BH cosmetics it's my Ray Ray ones we have um, oh, one Morphe <laughs> brush they're they're kind of expensive they're like five bucks plus tax like six seven dollars and I only have one that I got with like a gift card and then I have another one that is like for more artistic like type of makeup so I only own two Morphe brushes but I mainly use Wet n Wild as you can see these white ones are the Dollar Tree ones from Wet n Wild and I mainly use those as you can see they're all white and these are the e.l.f. ones from Walgreens or Walmart um, I think some people thought that these were um, the Jaclyn Hill ones they're not <laughs> and um okay we have these solve ones too as well these are from amazon this is a brow spoolie but yeah so i have these brushes right here and then i'm gonna move this we have my eyeshadow palettes right here this is just some of them i have more over here i have this little canister that i got from dollar general it was only three dollars and it was on sale and then i have this little skeleton earring that I have right here just hanging here because it looks really cute and here I have the Shanix so the remix palette from PH Cosmetics I have the it's my Ray Ray um, 21 color eyeshadow palette from PH Cosmetics do as well and the Royal Affair BH Cosmetics palette um, just to let you guys know if you don't know um, BH Cosmetics is actually discontinuing these so go to Marshalls and TJ Maxx and get a hold of them because that's why I got them before they're gone forever the only sucky thing about this that makes me mad is that if I ever want to use these in a video I can but it's gonna be kinda of difficult because you can't just go out and buy it anymore you know what I mean so that's gonna be a little bit difficult but you know I didn't buy these to not use them so yeah and these are only like seven dollars each so that's a really good deal and then Back here I have three of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault um, palettes. I need one more, which I think is ringing the alarm. 
but I got these um, the day they came out. Actually, wait, no, I got these two the day they came out and this one later on. But these are really good palettes. I really like them. I don't use them as much as I thought I would, but they're really pretty. And this is actually my favorite one, right? Yeah, the purple one, Bling Boss. This is my favorite. As you can tell, I've dipped into it, and I love this one. But, yeah, I thought I was going to use these more, but I need to use them more because I fucking paid for them. <laughs> and then right here we have some Wet n Wild palettes. We have the Comfort Zone one, which I've hit pan right there because that's a really good shade. And then we also have the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air, which is also a really good one. I just did a look with this one on my Instagram page. So those are my palettes. And then right here we have another little plastic um, makeup organizer that I got from Dollar Tree. This one is also taped down. Let me go ahead and focus on these. Okay, here we go. Should we get a little bit closer? Focus, bitch. Okay. So we have my liquid lipsticks right here and some glosses. So I mostly own Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks, as you can tell. Um, this is my one of my favorite ones. This is the Rebel Rose. I love this one. And then this one is Give Me Mocha. And then we have these three right here, which I'll talk about really quickly. But we also have, uh, they just rolled all the way over here. <laughs> the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color in Suede. And then this new one, this Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit High Shine Liquid Lipstick in Send Nudes, which I, which I just used and I actually really like it. Surprisingly, I thought I wasn't gonna like it. And then we have some more Wet n Wild Liquid Lipsticks in the back. Just show you a little quick look at them. Purple. Gray. This black one is actually really good. It's a really good liquid lipstick. It's really opaque. Blue and green. And then right here we have two glosses from Essence and these are like my favorite glosses. I love these. These are the Shine 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 ones. The wet look ones from Essence. They smell like Skittles. They smell so good. This one is in, what the fuck is this called? Friends of Glamour? Yeah. And then this one, this purple one, is in Watch Me Do, which, okay. Um, <laughs> these names, but these are really good. I love these. These are only $3 at um, Ulta. If you can get a hold of them, get these. They're fucking good. I love them. And then right here we have the Amuse Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. We have this red one, just like my favorite red lipstick. These are only a dollar, too. Um, and then this, like, pinkish one. Nude one. And then we have this Amuse Cosmetics Diamond Gloss. Right here. And then this e.l.f. Uh, Aqua Lip Tint in Rouge Radiance. So, got that one. Looks like blood. But it actually works pretty good. And then those three that I pulled out right here are... The NYX Cosmetics Lip Lingerie in French Made, I think. Yeah. And then these two are from Lorac. These are the Soft Pink and Plum Pink. And I love... Where, where is it? Plum Pink. I love this one. I think this is my favorite nude liquid lipstick. And I just bought it. Like... I think it was like two months ago or a month ago and I am in, in love with this and I can't find it anywhere else and I bought it at Marshall's it was a two pack for $5.99 and right now I'm on the search to find it again so that I can have it in case I run out because I'm gonna be sad because I really like that one a lot I've been using it like almost all the time so I need to figure out what to do about that but yeah so these are the glosses Liquid lipsticks. Let me put this shit back. And then we can move from here. That was the chair, not me. <laughs> Over here. So let me go ahead and put that shit. Focus, bitch. Focus on me. Fo, fo. Okay. So now we have this little three drawer organizer. I got this at Goodwill for $3. Yes, bitch. $3. So we have this right here, and on top of it, we have this Dollar Tree mirror. 
And I just put it here because I just thought it looked really cute. Like all this stuff on like the white top was just, I don't know. I just thought this was cute. But right here we have our Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Lip Scrub and Pancakes and Syrup. This is the only Jeffree Star product I own. I did own the Androgyny palette, but I gave it to my cousin because she um, really wanted it. She's been wanting it for a long time, and I haven't been using it. Like, I bought it almost a year ago, and I haven't used it. I only used it once. And I was just like, if she's going to get more use out of it, why not give it to her? I can buy it some other time, um, even though it's, <laughs> shit's expensive. Um, that's why I only own one thing. Um, but yeah, so I have this, and I like it. It's really good, and it tastes good. And then right here, we have the Matte Finish Went Wild Setting Spray right here. And then under here is this little tray that my best friend got me. I can't remember if it was a year or two years ago she got me that. So I have that right there. And then we have this Euphoria Men Calvin Klein Aftershave Balm, which I actually really like, but I don't think, I didn't even check up. I don't think Calvin Klein is cruelty free, so I have to find an alternative for that. Still learning and still doing things, but most of my makeup is cruelty free. Actually, all of it. I is but yeah it's a learning process and I'm adjusting and then we have this Ofra toner which I don't even use so I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with it I used it a couple times it smells like an egg fart so I don't really care it was only three dollars I got it with the gift card and you know to have it here but I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with it. And then I use this. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Water Essence. I got this at Marshalls for $4. And it's really good. I really like it. I would like to repurchase that. And then we have the Hydrating Facial Mist from Giovanni. This is the Prime and Setting Mist. And I love this so much. This is also another thing that I found at TJ Maxx slash Marshalls. And um, I want it again. But I can't find it anywhere. So, yeah, that's going to be difficult. It's almost gone, too. I've been really, like, not using it as much because I'm scared because it, it's so good. I like it. And, yeah, yes. And then I'll go ahead and move these so we can get to the other palettes that we have right here. But before we get to those, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. This is a Batman mug that my best friend got me to as well. And this in here are, like, my uh, eyebrow products and I, well, yeah, eyelash curler, Wet n Wild mascara, LA Colors Browie Wowie pencil, which is my favorite brow pencil. I love this. I use this all the time. This is the only thing I use along with the Browie Wowie tinted brow gel. These two things, I use them both all the time and I love them. They are both only $2 each. I even have another one of these just in case I run out. And then I have some beauty scissors right here and then let's get on to these palettes so I have the festival palette from Julia's place right here I'm just gonna show you these ones because they're just these are just so pretty they are I love these ones so this is the festival one that's so pretty and I've been using that Mamanu one the top peach one as a blush and I love it so much so, yeah, I think that's like my new blush. I really like it. It's really good. And then behind that, we have the Zulu by Juvia's Place. I got this one for Christmas for my cousin, and um, I had never used Juvia's before, and she bought me this because she knew I wanted to try it, and I loved it, and then I was like, I need more. So I bought that one. Um, I think I got this for $12 on their site, plus I think it was free shipping. So yeah, that was a really good deal. This one, you can tell I've dipped into it. That yellow is about ready to hit pan. And this is such a good palette. Such a good palette. I love this one so much. So let me put that one here. And then we have this colorful eyeshadow palette by Starry. This is the neon one. Let me see if I can open this bitch real quick. Yes. This is the neon one. This is a really, really good palette. It's only $5. Two close that bitch up and then I just got this one today in the mail I bought it off of Depop and it was only five dollars including shipping I only paid five dollars for this the girl just wanted to get rid of it 
She said it was brand new. I looked at it. It is that it hasn't been touched except for me swatching it. But um, this is the Aurora Lights Baked Eyeshadow Palette. And they're all shimmers. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And so stunning. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Like, look at these. They're so pretty. I cannot wait to use these. So, yeah. Hello. Yeah, so... I'm really, really excited to use that palette. Because ever since using the baked ones from the Zodiac, which is which I'm going to show you next, um, I'm in love with their um, baked formula. It's really good. And this is the Zodiac one, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen before. Still need to do another video on this. I know I was going to do one more video, so I need to do one. Make my final thoughts. And then the last one I have up here is the Morphe X James Charles one, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows. Exactly what the, this is my horror movie shelf. Yeah, good look at that. Um, pretty sure everybody knows what this one looks like. Been using it too. It's a really good palette. Um, I do have to say though, if you really want it, just wait for it to go in stock. Don't be paying a hundred dollars for that shit. It's not worth it. <laughs> um, is it worth the thirty nine dollars? Yeah, I, I guess yeah. Um, use the coupon though. <laughs> but. Now we're going into the drawers, and I have some sponges right here, VHS case that has some more um, brushes in here that I don't use, and oh yeah, let me show you guys that other Morphe one I was telling you guys about. Here it is. This is the only other Morphe one I have. See what I mean? It's like a detailing brush, which I actually do use when I do like intricate things. It comes in handy, so I like it. And then we have these ColourPop Super Shock. Can I get up in here? Okay. Um, eyeshadows. This is my favorite one. This is Ladybird. It is so good. If you go to Ulta, swatch it or buy it. It's five dollars. It is so good. I love this one so much. And then we have these two, which I have not used yet. What is this one? Set to Stun. And then. Coconut, yeah, I haven't used those yet. And then we have makeup wipes right here. And then these, like, extra things that I still need. I have not tried this out yet, and it's been sitting here for a while. This is the Essence Melted Chrome. And this is the Metal Shock, which I have used, and this is actually really good. It doesn't crack or, like, crease or get all nasty. And then I have some gloss from Dollar Tree. Another blush from Dollar Tree. This is LA Colors. It's a really good one. This one is Berry Plum. Can you see it? There you go. And then eye drops. Because sometimes looks are just so crazy that you burn your eyes and you just get tired and you need some eye drops. And then um, this is some lip balm in here. And then, oh, and then this lip liner from NYX which is in soft pink, and these little spatulas is what I use my e.l.f. primer with. I got those at Ulta. And, and then we have this Jeffree Star. I think this came with the lip scrub. It's a little, like, poster thing. And then this, what the fuck is this? Oh, a zombie tarot card? Okay. And, <laughs> I forgot, where did, it, where did it come from? I think it was a subscription box or something. And then... Right here we have some extra things. These are like Wet n Wild Halloween palettes. And then we have Micellar Water, Cruelty Free Micellar Water from Dollar Tree. This is Daily Defense. It works. It's pretty good. And then we have the extra ones like I told you guys. Here we go. Yeah. These are like extras. LA Colors Brow Wowie. And we have some other things that I don't really use that often. We have that palette from um, Went Wild. That's really good. Some e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balms. And then this. What is this? Oh. Mega Glow Highlighter from Went Wild that I don't really use that often. Some more highlighters I don't really use. These are from Starry. And then in here, these little trays are from Dollar Tree too as well. Um, what the fuck do I got in here? Oh, we got a highlighter palette. The 
this is from Malibu Glitz. I only paid two fifty. And it looks like this. It's really pretty. The colors are amazing. I like this one a lot. And then we have some of these um, paint palettes from Wet n Wild. I use these and I really like them. And then here we have a BR Cosmetics palette. Wait, where is it? Oh, right here. This palette's actually pretty good. It was like $3. And then we have this Tarte. Tartlet Tees Tart Palette. My cousin gave this to me, as you can tell. <laughs> um, I don't use it. It smells good, but I, I don't really get to use it. Maybe I'll use it since I have it. But yeah, so I have that in there. And then the last drawer is just crap. It's like my little tripod for my phone, a bag full of like extra things, some mailers. And then the boxes for the eyeshadow palettes, which I need to throw away. Why the fuck did I keep the, the boxes for the palettes? Like, I don't know why I did that. I really don't. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so that is it. Now I have a mess to clean. That is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys saw my makeup. I'll, I'll do like an updated one. Hmm. Maybe I'm like six months or something and we'll see if anything has changed but yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to know where anything else is from let me know in the comments if i can find any links for anything like you know well actually just this because everything else is from the stores um i will post it and i will see you guys next time with another video